1835, three Texas Patriots, Fernando de Leon, Peter Kerr, and Jesus Carbal, led an expedition to smuggle a shipment of arms from New Orleans to Colonel Fannin's army in Texas. The shipment contained 500 muskets, two field cannons, cannonballs, ammo, gunpowder, and other unknown objects. This was all being smuggled on a schooner called the Hannah Elizabeth. She was 67 feet long, 20 feet wide, with two masts. She was armed with three cannons, two six-pounders and one four-pounder. On November 19, 1835, the Mexican warship Montezuma sighted her sailing along the Texas coast. The Hannah Elizabeth was given the order to stop as she made a run for it. An intense chase began upon the seas. The Hannah Elizabeth decided to try and lose the Montezuma by sailing into Matagorda Bay. However, she hit a sandbar and beached on it. And we'll talk about this exact location later on in the video. The Montezuma sighted her upon the sandbar and fired a volley of cannonballs at her. Knowing they could not escape, they surrendered. And they knew that if they were caught with all this cargo, they would be hanged. So they decided to throw it overboard into the waters. Eventually, Mexican officials came on board, they searched the vessel, and decided to impound it. However, a storm had blown in, and it began to make the waters too choppy to stay. The Mexican Navy decided they would return the next day after the storm had passed and impound the ship. After they left, another Texas ship showed up, the William Robbins, and they decided to pull this gutsy move and salvage the Hannah Elizabeth. They threw ropes on her and tried to free her from the sandbar, but the waves were too rough and it caused the Hannah Elizabeth to roll over and she sank cannons and all. So all 500 muskets, two field cannons, the two six-pounders and the four-pounder that were mounted on the Hannah Elizabeth all sank right there. In 1999, while searching for the French wreck, the La Biel, which sank in 1686, a wreck was discovered. In 2001, divers were sent to the site from Texas A&M. They found some artifacts and they pulled them up. When the artifacts turned up to be from the 1830s, the expedition moved on with the few artifacts they'd retrieved, which was several muskets. They reported their findings and believed it to be the Hannah Elizabeth because this was the exact location she had sank in the 1830s. And the location is here on the southeast entrance into Pass Cavallayo. We don't know any of the laws surrounding this wreck, so it is up to you to make sure to go through all the proper channels and follow all the laws before taking a single artifact from this wreck. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of the Adventure Guide. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe because we have a lot more adventure videos coming out. Also, feel free to join our Facebook group. And until next time, we're off on another adventure. God bless.